Hello my friends. Today I want to show you the first mall that was built in Vancouver and it's called Pacific Center. You can recognize it by its entrance which is a nice round structure. The Pacific Center Mall holds more than 120 different stores and businesses. Of course, you cannot tell that by looking at it from the outside because most of the stores are underground. The mall was built in 1973 and I can probably assume that is one of the first malls built in North America. So at the time when it was built, uh, there were no other malls to compare it to. Okay. Inside the mall, you can see stores. Some of them are cheap. You can buy things that are really cheap. Like, for instance, these nice shoes for women that you can buy for 50 bucks, which I think is cheap compared to all their stores that sell them really, really expensive. In the mall, you're going to find both extremes. You're going to find uh, cheap uh, products and also very expensive. But I was saying, you know, that when the architects built this mall they made it very functional so inside the mall you're not gonna see big spaces or big ornaments nothing really fancy because the purpose was to provide the Vancouver residents with a convenient place to shop when outside it's cold or it's raining or it's snowing people could come underground and shop in a comfortable environment I hear many people mention that the mall is it's kind of claustrophobic because it doesn't have big spaces it doesn't have water fountains and it doesn't have big ornaments but they have to understand that the mall like I said was built in 1973 now in Vancouver there are five other malls they are more modern, they are more spacious, they have more big spaces, and they have water fountains. They are more beautiful, but they are away from the city center. So if you want to go to those malls, you have to take extra time and extra effort to go there. Pacific Center is located right at the center of downtown, so uh, you can shop, you can easily access it because it's close to all the different buses and sky trains, and it's close to the sea bus, to the trains, so everything is really close and it's very convenient. And as you can see, uh, this particular store is not that bad. You know, it's $60 for a pair of shoes or this pair of boots, which are really nice. Personally, I find them kind of too long. I don't know how a girl can fit inside this. It doesn't even have a zipper or anything. But look how tall this boot is. Wow. I don't know if a girl can feel comfortable with these boots. When she puts them on, probably they're going to get all the way up to her butt. But I'm sure she will look sexy with these pair of boots. Definitely.
you see this store is probably in the middle like i can see the clothes like 70 dollars and as you can see right now all the clothes in display are winter clothes because we are in january 2019 so you're only gonna see for now winter clothes you're not gonna see summer clothes at this time of year this particular coat looks very warm and it feels very delicate and it's very light but also it feels very warm but very delicate if you light a match <laughs> probably it will burn in two seconds like i was explaining to you you can see that the rest areas are very small you are not gonna see big spaces you're not gonna see water fountains you're not gonna see big ornaments i was trying to explain something but the microphone in my camera was not working. Inside the mall, you're going to find that most of the stores are either clothing stores or shoe stores or electronics. Like this one is the Apple store where you can see the new gadgets like this iPhone X that it has the price look at that be sixteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollars for that phone that's ridiculous personally i don't like the iphones i don't like them it's too much pride on it you know people are so proud to have an iphone uh, it has a big hype to me it's like exaggerated reputation they are really expensive and very inconvenient. If you lose the charger, you have to pay probably $70, 80 $90 for, for a charger. But if you have a Samsung or any other Android, believe me, $10 the most, you can have a nice charger. This is the little bridge or walkway that connects the first stage of the mall which was built in 1973 with the north stage which is more modern is new that was built in the 90s okay so they connected both sides with this walkway and they use it to display different things These clothes belong to Canada Goose, a new company. It's very popular, but let's check the price on this little hat. A hundred and fifty bucks. Wow, <laughs> for, for this little thing, $150. But you know what? The clothing feels very fine and high quality. Of course, also the price is high quality, like this sweater for women is five hundred and fifty dollars for that but it feels very nice and very warm you can feel the quality when you touch it 
This other jacket also is made by Canada Goose, but look at the price. $995. In other words, a thousand bucks for this jacket. But it looks nice and also it feels high quality. I don't doubt that many people with money will come and buy it. Like this lady, probably she's gonna buy that coat. Now we're entering the north side of the mall. This is the newer area built in the 90s. You can tell the difference, right? Even in the color of the walls. Well, you can see from this level, you can see down and you can see it has three levels. Well, you know, at that time in 1970s, when this mall just started to operate, it was a big sensation. A lot of people came and did the shopping here. Now, in Vancouver, there are other malls, more modern, they have a nicer structure, more ornaments, so um, this mall is not considered the most expensive mall. This mall actually now is considered more for like uh, working people, not like rich people. Back in the day when it was built, the rich people would come and shop here but now they have built other malls in, the, in other areas of the city areas where rich people live so now they go to those malls they don't come to these malls this mall is considered more like for working people working class people but even so you can still find good quality products here and you can still find things that are very very expensive look this pair of gloves it's 60 bucks I have a pair like this at home and I pay four bucks <laughs> This is a nice purse, but it looks a good quality too. I like the color, but how much is it? Let's check the price. Can you see the price? Almost a hundred, I'm like almost eleven hundred dollars because it's one thousand and ninety five, which means almost one thousand and one hundred dollars. Wow, a real.
Okay, we reached the end. We're gonna exit through the Holt Renfrew store that connects to Granville Street. I hope you liked this video and it gives you a better idea of where to shop if you visit Vancouver. It's hard to tell and show everything about the mall because in less than 20 minutes is very difficult but at least you have a good idea and hopefully you will come and visit us okay